Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm joined by... Gaming Psychologist. Uh, as we are suddenly attacked by the Blood Moon uh, when we were about to start. Yeah, we were about to, to do some stuff, uh, what we were planning for this, this episode, and then here comes a Blood Moon and the zombies. And I mean, other creatures that go bump in yeah, the Yeah, to be fair, we don't really have to fight the Blood Moon. The NPCs can defend themselves for the most part, but I, I kind of want a Patroth now. <laughs> <laughs> plus, I mean, combat's always fun. Yeah, and plus it is a good way to get money. Magic staff. What are the stars? Uh, the blue stars? Oh, she's a mage? Uh, she's a druid. Oh, okay. What do you think she would be? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I don't even remember what she does. Uh, well, her thing is that she heals uh, allies in her circle uh, and damages enemies around her. And the fun part is the more bosses that we kill, the stronger that gets from her. Oh, that's fancy. Got out the, the what is it, needle thorn or whatever? Does yeah. a much better job than the magic wand against these guys. They got a lot of I health. imagine it's easier to hit. I mean, to be fair, we don't really have to protect the NPCs. They uh, can defend themselves, and uh, the ones that we lose uh, will respawn after a day or two. Does he have a paint gun that he's shooting yep. them with? That's yeah, cool. Yeah, and the thing is that uh, the NPCs that die have a chance to uh, drop uh, their weapons as well. Ooh. So, in a way, we kind of want... Uh, some of the NPCs to die if we wanted to get their guns. What's the ammo for the paint gun? Uh, I think it's a, just a magic gun, or maybe unlimited ammo. One of the two. Can't but notice that there is not... Uh, for a Blood Moon, this is rather a calm one. Did oh. we kill them all already? No, it's nope, a time thing. On silent. Oh, that's where they are. They're down the mine. How did they spawn below us? Yeah. Achievement complete till death? What is that? What is that? Uh, killing either the bride or the groom, which you should have gotten it last time when I killed the bride. Here's some bad guys. Yeah, there you go. Throw grenades at them. Wait, I have to see the 150 zombies. Run through my weird pyramid. Yeah, so are you going to fix that at some point? Yeah, maybe eventually if we do another building episode. Yeah, I built another uh, building or uh, build the basement that I'm planning on, and you just fix your cigarette. I <laughs> fix my cigarette, or somehow make it worse. Yeah, I already have a couple building projects planned uh, that I want to do. Some of the stuff that from your offline world. Yeah, I mean you've seen uh, most of my plans, uh, the prototype form at least. And uh, the house that I built is basically a small version of the main workshop. Yes, this is a small version of what I built. Like there's a joke in there somewhere. Been playing some interesting game this games this week, which we're oh, really? on the podcast. But yeah, I found some cool ones. Well, a sequel to a game that I played some time back that was really cool, and I didn't realize that it had a sequel. Yeah, I oh. played a couple interesting ones. 
fancy. One I uh, already brought up on the podcast, but I decided not to do a video on. But I at least got some game time on it. Wait, if you brought it up before, I'm going to ask what game was it? IS Defense. Oh, oh, okay. Fancy, can't wait to hear about that. Then of course, uh, I, I think it's kind of my thing now to talk about what I play on the Sunday Sampler. Yeah. Especially since the podcast releases nearly a week after that video goes live anyway. So I have uh, Wheeling Heights to talk about as well. I'll have some more um, uh, Starpoint Gemini Warlords. They released their first big update for it. So I played that. I played that a few hours this week. Well, I have a thick. That's cool. I like the paint gun. You want it now. You want to. Uh, you want the uh, the painter to die. Can I kill him? Is there any way to kill him? No, uh, not that I know of. I'm not going to say no, because there is a few things that kill certain NPCs. Uh, there, uh, well, now that I think about it, there are ways to draw NPCs out to a dangerous area, so you'll probably do it that way. Yeah, but then I'd be in danger. And your point being? I don't. I don't want to be in danger. I just want to kill the NPC. I'm a horrible person, and I want his paint gun. Even if it's useless, it looks cool. I mean, it doesn't seem to do very much damage, but it's so cool. Yeah, it looks like it's very low damage, but it's interesting. High rate of fire, low damage. Yeah, looks like it's a burst fire almost. Or that's just the way that they programmed this AI. I like the saber from the uh, Daw Merchant as well. Ooh, yeah. That's pretty cool. I want to have this magic spell, like the Druid Girl. An aura of damage and protection. Do a few little stabbish stabbish. I mean, I just, I just want to talk about games now. <laughs> well, Actually, that's tomorrow we should, night. We oh, and, and tonight. Defeated the 50th drip, Drippler. Oh yeah, and tonight. Uh, ruining the magic. I was sick over the weekend. That this was recorded, so normally we record on Saturday. One time we recorded on a Sunday just because of things that worked out better that way. This time we're recording on a Monday. But that's okay. Yeah, just throwing off the rhythm completely. What uh, what episode did you publish on Saturday, Rage? Because I'm I'm like uh, I would have to go look at the, my list because I'm terrible and I uh, basically go kind of like on autopilot for a lot of it. <laughs> I'm thinking. I uh, want to say it was episode nine or 10. ten. Uh, yeah, episode nine or ten. Yeah, I've got eight published. So like, I'm I'm almost caught up. I messed up one day and published something else that wasn't um wasn't this. Otherwise, I'd be back on track by now. But we have thirteen episodes recorded. Yeah, which I have uh, uh, the last two. Uh, already rendered and uploaded yeah i've got all of mine uploaded and they're all scheduled so uh i guess it's off to the meteor yeah and, and we'll probably uh, on the whole. uh it's probably going to be a long episode we were talking about uh episode length before and i think it is wise to just make the episodes longer in general yeah basically as long as they need to be we might like say okay we should probably stop recording we've been doing this for you know an hour or whatever but yeah we're not gonna go an hour 
uh, but uh, try, uh, you know the arbitrary 20 25 minute mark doesn't work for this game yeah um so let's use this time of, of strolling though to, to chat about a couple of things so I was doing some thinking about uh oh well a, a few things um, one is we we've talked about doing like a top 10 games before yeah but you said something once that got me thinking uh -oh. maybe we should do like a uh, like come up with some genres or categories almost like an award show I mean we're not gonna give awards but it, it just like different categories like they do in award shows well and, uh, if uh, they if they won an award uh, we could always print it out and uh, send it to them oh crap I fell whoops. to my death whoops yeah whoops I forgot to grapple uh, because I was too busy talking. I probably could have <laughs> saved myself. So, uh, how about you just tell me when you're there at this point, and I will just use a potion and warp over to you. Am I going to have to bring some uh, wormhole potions over for my single-player character? That might help. One, you're way faster than me, and two, I'm easily distractible. Oh, look, a distraction. Look, a distraction, splat. A two-headed monkey. But anyways... Um, yeah, I wonder if that's cheating as to, uh, if I bring the wormhole potions over because they are a bit annoying to make. I would say no. I think things that would like e make yeah. our lives easier that aren't oh. like power or anything like that, like potions, yeah, just yeah, save yeah, us time. Bring, yeah, bringing uh, power over is one thing. Um, Making uh, quality of life things uh, is a bit different, which... I just realized my... Orb of Light isn't on. But so anyway, so we should come up with categories for an episode. Um, and then we should each pick a game for the categories and then do like a, a reveal show where we come up with our best of for all the categories and talk about the games. I think that would be a fun thing to do on the podcast. And what was the other thing I thought of? I got off of my train of thought. I had two things that I had thought of. Oh, that I just uh, completely hit the uh, strand orb. That, that would explain why it wasn't on. So you could uh, completely disable it without having to equip it. That's nice. I didn't realize that I completely removed it. Okay, I'm getting pretty close to my target now. As a matter of fact, uh, you're probably, well, I was saying probably following my progress on the map, aren't you? Yep. Yep, yep. Probably equip a ranged weapon. That would be. Yeah, cool, I'm, I'm still thinking it's best to probably dig down through all this damn sand. Oh, hello. Alright, dig down through the sand. Oh, 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 oh remember, I, remember I made an access tunnel down here. I just remembered. All right, uh, who's mining and who's fighting? You have to ask. Yeah, good point. Uh, and that stuff burns you. Uh, let me think for a second. Here? Actually, the sand probably wouldn't be a bad idea to use because you could drop a, essentially a platform and uh, just dig under it. Yeah. No, 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 no. Please don't die. No, I died. <sighs> I fell into the pitch blackness and I hit something and died. Well, there goes one of the potions. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go make more potions, aren't I? I missed. I missed my. Uh, I missed my rope. This is why I make ladders. 
It's not just for no, no, no. I'm serious. It's not just because they look better. It's because they're, it's easier to hit uh, two uh, wad than one wad. Fair enough. I shall take your advice. I'm, uh, I can't get the one below you. Oh, oh, got to be kidding. This is not going well. All right, you might actually be better at this than me because it's like all about finesse. I'm not that. You give it a shot. I'll take a shot at the defending. Yeah, it's basically mine a little bit, uh, then retreat a little bit. Mine a little bit, retreat a little bit. Especially if they're coming up on, from under you. You stay away from my friend. You nasty whatever you guys are. Beat your heads. No, I'm not joking. See? I have defeated a hundred meteor heads. Or at least the hundredth. I'm gonna go back up top for a moment. I wanna get some sand. Okay. I'll just stay down here and kill the meteor meteor heads. And anything else that wanders into my path. Oh, I still haven't put my phone on vibrate. Violent. So unprofessional. <laughs> Oh, hey, look, Jim's playing KSP. Uh, who is? Jim. Ah. I can't, because I have to host the server, I can't go offline on Steam. Yeah, well, uh... I mean, I suppose I could disable or just turn off notifications, but... Can you get the one on my right? Ah, never mind, I got him. definitely better at this than I am, but you do seem to be struggling as well. Uh, well, it's because I'm trying to hit a one wide uh, rib. Can you put a second rib down? Yeah. See, much better. I'll just extend the ropes pretty far in case we screw up again. And when I say we, honestly, I probably mean me. Arrows. Oh, I've still got several hundred arrows left. I also could always switch to magic. Oh, well, I've been picking up your arrows. Should have probably grabbed dirt while I was uh, in base. Oh, well, well, good thing there's plenty of dirt here. Yeah, yeah, we got we got dirt. I brought platforms too. Do you want some platforms for building? Uh, well, dirt's just as good. Okay. Well, I mean, since you can go through platforms, well, I suppose they could go through platforms too. Actually, the meteor heads can just go through stuff, so it doesn't really matter. 
You have one on the right. Can you grab it? Like that? Yeah. And yep. I got it. I got it. Don't worry, Mister. I can shoot stuff. I might have really crappy balance and fall off of things, but I can shoot stuff. Let's see. Right, I don't think I can get that one. What a fine example of coordinated teamwork we are, Rage. Oh, he just blocked off from I could shoot him. <laughs> Perfect timing, Rage. Oh, how great we are at working together. Oh, you blocked my firing path. There's coins everywhere. Yeah, really. Plenty of arrows, too. Yeah, I'll toss arrows to you. I've gotten 12 so far. Well, I've still got like 600, so... Yeah, but the thing is that they're clogging my inventory because uh, my ammo slots are full of uh, musket balls. Oh, the non-fire arrows don't kill in two hits. Yeah, yeah, I caught on the ladder. Yeah, I've still got about 600 arrows. So I'm good for a little while. I wonder if this is riveting entertainment since we're not really talking all that much. Yeah, really. Uh, it requires actually a quite a bit of concentration. Yeah, I just keep having to scan the screen and shoot stuff, and then you're trying not to fall onto the meteor and burn to death. Granted, uh, we... If we did a different progression path, this would be a lot easier, but not nearly as fun. What do you mean, it would be easier? I'm not sure I can shoot that guy coming below you. Uh, there's things that uh, would make it where the contact damage is gone. Huh, interesting. You uh, could just stand on the meteor and be fine. Yeah. I mean, granted, uh, we'd still have all the meteor heads to deal with, but that's beside the point. This hole goes down pretty deep. Yes, it does. I fell pretty far before I actually wound up dying. Yeah, the corruption holes go down way far. Do they go all the way down to bedrock? Or whatever this game's equivalent of that is? That would be hell. Do they go all the way to hell? No. They don't even go a quarter of the way to hell. missed him. He's gonna come up underneath you. Yeah. yeah, basically just watch when they're coming up uh, directly under me. That's the that's the bad point. So while I'm dropping uh, torches all over the places, I'm shift clicking. Oh, because you've got your sword equipped and you're shift clicking just to use your pickaxe? Yeah. That makes sense. Arrows, I'm. Oh, yeah, so yeah, 500. Still doing good.
On the plus side, we're going to have some interesting things uh, once we get back to base. What do you mean? Like things we can craft? Yeah, at least one thing. We don't have the gems for the really interesting thing that I think you'll fall in love with, but... Oh well. Is it like a special pickaxe or like a drill or something? No, it's actually a sword. Ooh. Drop a little more rope. Right. Yeah, I didn't think I would be the one mining this. I didn't think you would either, but you're much better at not falling and dying than I am, so I can't I can't shoot that guy, you're in a hole. Sorry, right. once he gets close enough I'll uh, be able to hit him. Yeah, but it's also practice. I mean, oh, 200 meteor heads already. Nice. Yeah, you've played this game a lot more than I have. Even now, you're playing it more. I mean, I've certainly put in, I don't know, eight, ten hours of my own time on it, but you've put in 60? Like 40? Oh, 60, yeah. One coming from above. Got on him. Yeah, I got him. Yeah, I went from below. Yep. And also checking my meteor count. Oh, I'm up to 180 ore already. I wonder if I've picked up any. Oh. That guy. Ooh. Ooh, look like it. And ooh, what? Uh, well, I just dropped a bunch of sand. Nice. No, that nice. actually works out. Why does it work out? Because it makes a nice little plat platform for me to get this. Oh. Once we're down to less than 50 ore here, the meteor heads will stop, by the way. I'm not sure if I've said that yet or not. You have not said that yet. There's more down here, though, at the bottom, isn't there? Oh, I'm touching them, touching. No touchy. Yeah, riveting entertainment. The mining episode. Another one. Well, I mean, there have been quite a few mining episodes on my channel. Yeah, but that's what I do in my free time. Yeah. All right. There will come. Yeah, but I, I look at it this way: if people are going to complain about watching mining in Terraria, they shouldn't be watching Terraria. Well, this is also mining while fighting meteor heads. Giant flaming bats, basically. That's riveting stuff right there. On the plus side of things, uh, the falling stars we could uh, craft into arrows now, since we don't need them for mana crystals. Ooh, what kind of arrows do they make? Jester arrows. 
Oh, I've got some of those in my inventory. They are nice arrows. Much better than the flaming arrows. My aim is bad and I should feel bad. That was awful. And the funny thing is you're a host, so you have no uh, lag excuse. I, yeah, definitely just bad aim. Uh, there, there's no excuse for that. It was awful. This has made me a slightly better shot, though. I mean, that was really bad, but overall, I've done much better than I have previously, from anyone who's been watching my episodes. You guys have complained quite a bit about how bad my aim is. You learned really? Wait, those guys. wait, you've had uh, comments on your uh, videos? I've, I've had a couple people comment that uh, this is the best type of uh, Terraria video, you know, just stupid co-op. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten a couple of comments, actually, yeah. Um, although, sadly, the video I had that had the most comments on it was a spammer. Spamming links. You may want to okay. heal. Yeah, um, I have a zero tolerance policy when it comes to spammers. You just block them. Oh, yeah, I block them and remove their post. Yes, I realize that uh, it is uh, interaction on the video and technically is a positive, but it pisses me off. I just ignored it. I don't know. I just was like, meh, I don't really care. Well, I look at it this way. I don't want to give them free advertisement. Yeah, that's fair enough, I suppose. Because I work hard... Uh, well, I, I work on my videos. <laughs> I see what you did there. Couldn't resist, could you? <laughs> nope. I found a way to get a few. Get some mining in there. It just takes a lot of rope. Well, rope is cheap, and it makes a good safety net. That is very true. Okay, well, we still have plenty more to go, but I have 244 uh, ore now. And I'm standing in fire. Yeah, I'm having to mine so much sand. Yeah, there's lots of sand coming down. You have taken out a rather large chunk of the backdrop, and I'm very proud of you for that. Too much time around you. <laughs> or not enough time. Crap. I got killed by a meteorite or a meteor head. I'm out of potions too, so either I can hoof it or this might be a good time to uh, uh, for me to uh, go to a fallback position so we get in things. Yeah. Yeah, let me grab these last bits and then grab uh, like all the coins that are below me and uh, everything there. There has to be a way to prevent the sand from falling. There probably is and I just don't know it. Or a, a better pickaxe would be lovely right now. But I can't help but notice that the meteorite... Oh! Oh shit! What? We are below fifty. Uh, meteor heads have stopped spawning. Of course they stop spawning after they kill me. Well, thank you for serving yourself up as tribute. 
I volunteer as tribute. I don't think that was volunteering. I'll be eating this tribute. So, since we are under 50 here, I think that uh, it may be a good idea to for me to recall and uh, we do a little bit of crafting before we uh, head out. Sounds fancy. Yeah, I this. basically just want like all these coins and Ancient oh. Shadow Helmet. I must have picked that off, off of one of the guys that I killed. Six defense, seven percent increase in melee speed. Yeah, it's not a bad thing. Oh, but I the set bonus is Hmm. I would actually have less armor because of the set bonus I get from having all tungsten armor. I would lose a total of seven defense to equip it. Hmm. Okay, well, I think that's good enough. I know that there's uh, still some here, but recalling. I think I'll just go put that in my unique chest of interesting things, unless it's worth a lot of money. Or if uh, How much defense it. is it? Six defense. Uh, I'll take it because it's better defense than what I have. I still have the lead helmet. Okay. There you go. Which adds three defense to me. Oh, I'll still wear the lead helmet as a cosmetic piece, though. Because it makes me feel pretty. And it poisons me. <laughs> and you are the prettiest princess. I'm not free toss. Yeah, but I haven't talked to him in forever, so you can be the prettiest princess. Okay, so we have a choice of armor or gun right now. Mmm, tough. A well, gun would be cool. I think you'll like the gun. and uh, The gun is helpful for the next boss that we may want to fight. There's two bosses that we have a choice of right now. Well, and, the, and the gun, I think, would be help, uh, is helpful on one of them. Should I take the gun, though? I mean, I've got a pretty decent bow and arrow. Uh, well, what's the damage on the uh, bow and arrow? Um, let's see. The bow is 11 damage, and my best this is better. Are, are 10. So You'll take the gun. Okay. Uh, the thing is, this is a magic gun. Oh, so no ammo requirement. And so I, I think three... I, and I'll and I'll build a gun as well since, uh, well the, uh the set bonus on the armor, uh makes the gun manaless, but it still will sh have quite a few shots with it. And it's actually one of my favorite easy mode guns. So I think you'll enjoy it. Do you want a magical item? Because now I've got a oh, two staffs. Well I, just, well, I just made the gun. Oh, so you have a magic gun and you're going to give me a magic gun? Yep. Cool. Base. Base gun. Nice. Nice. It doesn't use very much mana. Yeah, and the, uh, the fun thing about it... Uh, it, this is a little bit of a hint for the boss that I uh, kind of want to fight, is it pierces the uh, enemies. Ooh, fancy. And it's a light source. Well, the bolt is. But the space yeah. gun is nice. Actually, the bow is better. Oh, it is? Yeah. Because the bow is a lambda damage, but then you add the arrow damage. So, if I use flaming arrows, the space gun is better. But if I use the jester arrows, the bow is better. Yeah, but there's the, the jester arrows are still very limited because you still have to burn uh, stars on it. That's true. Do you have to do you use a fallen star? or? Do yeah, you, you have to use a fallen star. How do you craft them? What uh, do you need? It's a fallen star and wooden arrows, I believe. Okay, I will need to craft some wooden arrows. And let's see, I have enough... Uh, uh, we have enough bars left for two pieces of, of the meteor armor. 
which is uh, leggings five uh, defense. Well, well, here's the thing: is the meteor armor also increases magic uh, damage. Not oh, fancy. Uh, the suit is six damage or six defense, and the helmet is five defense. So that's one better than the tungsten armor. Yeah. I mean, I've got tungsten two. armor. Yeah, I have gold armor, and let's see, it's five. It's basically one better than the gold, I think, yeah. Uh, the set bonus is really what sets it apart, though. Right. Well, I mean, we don't have enough for the whole set, so... Or the other um, option is that uh, we each make a meteor uh, ham axe, which... Uh, is a combination hammer and axe. Don't ask how that works. I guess a double-sided, uh, maybe. It's but, a ham axe. But uh, the main thing is that it's a combination tool. Uh, it's something to m make after the fact, I think. Yeah. But I think it's best that we hold uh, hold off on the uh, on this, since it sounds like neither of us really need the armor right now. Yeah, I would say hold off. Um, staring at some of the stuff. Meteor hammers. That's pretty decent. Da 20 melee damage. That's better than my sword. But I mean, I don't need it. So. Let's see. Wooden arrows. Where are you, wooden arrows? I can't believe that I can't make wooden arrows. No, I'm pretty sure you buy them. No, you can make them. I've made tons of wooden arrows. Uh, are you too not close enough to the workbench? No, I... Oop. Alright, now let's try again. I... Hmm. I've made tons and tons of wooden arrows before, and then you make flaming arrows using the wooden arrows and torches. But I don't see any wooden arrows. But yeah, I think what we're... Actually, I want to hold off on the meteor uh, bars for these swords uh, when we get enough gems. Sure. I've got a couple of meteor bars in my inventory. Alright, uh, where do you... Uh, I was just going to drop them in the uh, chest. Okay. I'll put mine in the chest as well. Whoops. We've got 71 meteorite bars. Fancy. Uh, I think that's actually close to enough for a full set of the armor. Well, you look at that. I'm going to go grab some stuff and figure out why I can't make wooden arrows. We've got to have some wood lying around here somewhere. Uh, uh, there's the arrows that I picked up. Thanks. 50 wooden arrows. Excellent. Oh, I know what it is. You need a stone uh, block. Oh, right, for arrowheads. I completely forgot about that until I, I, uh, just now. It's like, wait, wait. There's something else that's in there. It's not just wood. Ah, stone, of course. Oh, of course, my good sir. And I know there's some of that in one of these chests. But anyway, while you look for that, uh, where can they find you on uh, the interwebs? Ah, you can find so me on the interwebs. It's probably about time to wrap things up. You know, it's been uh, 45 minutes. Been a while. Uh, you can find me on the, the YouTubes by uh, looking at my channel, Gaming Psychologist, if you're not watching me there already. If you're watching this on Rage's video, just click on the link either in the description or in the video, wherever he puts them. You can find me on Twitter, at I'm supposed to put links? Or do what? I'm supposed to put links? You're supposed to. I've been putting links. I I'm joking. Of course I put 
Uh, of I know course you're I'm joking. Surprised. I know you're joking. Anyways, you can find me on Twitter at JMA4707. You can find me on Twitch at JArthur4707. And uh, you can find me on the Video Game Logic podcast every Friday at 12.01 p.m. because Rage is a poopy head. <laughs> like I say, I enjoy torturing you at times. I know. It's fun. and Or, well, it's funny. And I deserve it. Uh, the fact that I put the extra effort in to change it from 12 to 12.01 actually takes a, a lot more effort than you would think. Yeah, because YouTube only gives you, what, half hour or 15 minute intervals? Oh, no, no. The uh, uh, My YouTube video is always 12.30 uh, oh. for it. Uh, it's just the podcast itself, the audio version, goes out at 12.01. And, uh, no, uh, uh, something else I'm not sure if you ever noticed, but the official Twitter account... It tweets out at 12.06 because it uh, goes five minutes after the podcast goes live to let it propagate. I've actually never noticed that before, and you just, like, ruined my life. <laughs> just a little more. Uh, and you were talking about me keeping you sane? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes saying. Well, I've had people complaining that uh, whenever the tweet goes out that the podcast isn't live yet. And it's just because it takes it a few minutes to propagate through the different things. Right. So I've uh, started delaying it five minutes. Hey, it's a nice round number. It's not my five. fault that it starts from... Oh, actually, it is my fault that it starts from a non-round number. I going to say, five minutes is a good number, but... <laughs> whatever, whatever, whatever. Where can they find you online, Rage? Because I'm done well, with my arrow making. Well, assuming that they're not watching me on my YouTube channel, they can find me at Gaming with Caffeine Rage on YouTube, or on Twitter at Gaming with CR, where and, I post snarky things and occasionally rant whenever I discover that Humble Bundle has a second My Little Pony uh, book uh, bundle. I thought that was a funny tweet. This one must won't not be any been... links because you're a turd. Aww. Joking, there will be links. I love you, I wouldn't do that to you. <laughs> Even though I am starting to... Uh, it seems like I'm starting to snowball on my uh, YouTube channel. I'm not sure if it's just I reach critical mass that I'm starting to get some organic growth or if uh, it's just literally uh, uh, just a few people happen to find me at the same time. How many subs are you up to? I'm up to 109. Nice. I'm up to 61. So, I've had a little bit of growth too. I I assume that they're people from your channel because they've all happened since we got once we got a few episodes into this series. But perhaps not. They could be podcast people. Or for your other con wait, do you do other content? <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Shaking my head at you with this, with like a, a dirty look on my face. Too much time around Katie. <laughs> uh, but uh, say bye bye and we'll get out of here. All know, right. Under the fi uh, under the fifty minute mark. Until next time. Bye bye now. See you then. <laughs> <laughs>